right, so the shred track completely taken over. This happens every summer. I mean, you just can't do nothing about it hardly. I mean, the weeds just, they get gnarly in the shred track. They love it. It's the perfect biome for weeds to grow, I guess. Um, and I've used Roundup before, but even then it only kills it. I still have to go in and pull all the dead weeds up before I can go and ride the track again. So if we could avoid using chemicals, that'd be pretty cool. So I've got an idea and I've started building a fence and then we're gonna have an organic weed control system. It's gonna be pretty sweet. So let me finish building this fence and then I'll show you guys. All right, the fence is finished, looking good. And introducing the weed maintenance team. We have the white goat is named Bella and the black and white one is Bingo. So here's day one, here's how it looks. Total mess and hopefully not too much longer. They'll eat it all up and we'll be able to ride the shred track again. day two having goats in Shredville. It's been raining a lot, but they've definitely been eating a lot. I am expecting about a week or so before we can start riding the track again. Maybe about two weeks and they might have this thing totally cleared. I'm gonna grab this log here. I'm gonna put it in the pen because goats are cool. They like to shred, okay? They like to climb on stuff. They're really little ninjas, so. We're gonna give them some stuff to climb on and have fun on, it's gonna be cool. So it's been about a week with the goats. Every time I see them, they're eating. So they're doing some good progress, I know that. Won't be much longer, we'll have the shred track back. All this rain has been really good for the terrain park, so we're headed down right now to shred it. So yeah, the tea park's looking really good. All the jumps are just very nicely manicured and wet and compacted now. So I'm excited, but I'm also excited to show you guys the shred quarters because I've been doing a lot of work down there and bringing in a lot of dirt. It's too soft to shred it now, but in the next video, we're gonna have an absolute shred session because the shred quarters is just set up to be an epic little shred spot. So let me show you guys once we get down here. All right, so the shipping container. Originally it was put here to be a storm shelter and then quickly the floor rotted out on it. Never got used, got overgrown. Recently, I started clearing it, started replacing the floors in it. And being a storm shelter, I want it to continue that purpose, but also it's just a great place to shred some gnar. I want to be able to ramp on top of it. I'm going to put plywood decking on the top of it, ramp on top of it, doing stalls, doing all kinds of tricks on it. And it's going to be a lot of fun on this side over here. Put some dirt on the side for some big drops. So yeah, in the next video, I'm going to get this project finished up and we're going to shred it. It's going to be sweet. Anyhow, it's been some good shreddage and I'll see you dudes later.